welcome to the 2018 Indonesia International Motor Show or in short for IMS. Let's see what they have to offer for us. Take a look around, spin around and see what they have to offer. Let's go. In the world of Mini, everything is uh, as Mini as it gets. Really, you have the Clubman, you have the GCW and you also have the Countryman with that odd roof over there, not for sale by the way, and you have the Mini Cabrio, nothing really much. And you sell the very unique thing over there, might want to get it. Now in the world of BMW here, they have the most uh, beautiful booth out of all really to be honest, because it's so cozy, it's so welcoming here, it's so wide, pristine. Uh, but anyway, we're here for the car, aren't we? We have the new 5 Series over there, we have the 4 Series Coupe, the M4 over there and the 7 series and the brand new BMW X3 up all that way over there and all of them are just pretty much the same the 3 series the X1 the X5 and behind me the uh, 3 series with the M performance package but anyway that's all about it really in the world of Honda there's a bunch of new stuff over here you have the new Civic Type R here you have the new Civic hatchback and all the way back there there's an NSX over there pretty pretty cool that's the GT3 version by the way and there's abundance of great cars around here but I can't choose which one is my favorite but anyway I like Honda's new design language here they're pretty cool they're pretty aggressive and um, yeah very Japanese moving on now in the world of glamour auto boutique we have a 458 Mustang a couple of Dodge there and Jeeps over here and this very special car over here the Abarth 695 pretty awesome looking car in yellow how about that big fan of Albarth here now in the side of Mercedes here they have some pretty interesting car over here the soon to be revealed EQ over there and the this Sprinter over here and they uh, probably customize it bodybuilder so so what's inside here is fully customized you have uh, lots of dead cows inside most probably take a look at inside and as you can see everything is customized to your liking you have your panels right here so you can control your TVs and you can control your curtains you can control your LED lights over here you have your uh, you have your cognac bottle over here whiskey or whatever you want to call it you have your coffee maker here so if you're bored or something and you feel drowsy you can make a coffee here and you have a toilet bag here if you want to come see here come here for a moment you uh, basically this is an ensuite. You have a toilet here, and you have a, a vanity mirror there, and pretty much all of this are are just crazy, isn't it? Would you like to buy one? No. Moving on. Let's go. And you have the uh, uh, the ordinary cars like the C class. You have the GLS over there, and you have the uh, ML, the S class, and all of those things. It's quite dark, to be honest. We're in the Prestige Cars Motor booth here, and we just. Uh, united, reunite with the Frenchman that we just uh, earlier saw about this month ago. The blue Bugatti Veyron, what more can you say? Inside of Audi and Volkswagen, there's nothing really to talk about really. You have the new A4 here and the new Q5. Over there you have the new Q7 uh, and you have the new Twigwin there and the Volkswagen Polo VRS. Well, nothing pretty new here they have only the standards here like the A4 and the Q5 we already know that okay BMW has just announced the new X3 we're gonna take a look closer now uh, and uh, all the BMW group uh, they just uh, announced it in, in the back there pretty nice pretty cool uh, and you have drone flying around there it's a pretty hectic place to be you know yes yes that is a DJI Phantom 4 most probably but yeah, as you can see, the crowd is uh, stirring. We're gonna wait for a moment to die down and we're gonna take a look at the new X3, all right? So Mercedes just unveiled the new Mercedes-Benz EQ. Well, it's basically an E-Class with an electric engine uh, and you have a blue brake calipers there, but other than that, really, it's a Mercedes E-Class, to be honest. We have a few classic cars here in IMS too. We have the uh, very very interesting Alfa Romeo 1300 Cabrio designed by Pinfarina and we have the uh, Ford Thunderbird in red also and we also have the Fiat Pinfarina 1200 in red and we also have the uh, 
a classic Jag here in black. And there's also this Chrysler Imperial, an ex-president car, an ex-Indonesian president car in black. Very diplomatic, very, very political indeed. Now in the world of Mazda here, you have all a bunch of cars over here, brand new. Uh, and you have the new CX-3 here, you have the new CX-5, and also the CX, what is this? The Mazda 2. This is the Mazda 2. And I'm hoping to see the estate here, the Mazda 6 estate, but they don't have it here. Uh, that's my favorite one, by the way. And they have this beautiful, beautiful new design language called the Kodo Design. And I love their new design language. It's much more sleek, much more elegant, much more grown up, to be honest. That's what you get from Mazda booth. Now I'm here in the booth DFSK. You might be wondering what the hell is this? This is a Chinese car company and they just released this new SUV called Glory 580. And uh, another Glory 580 over there in red. And quite interesting because design wise, it kind of looks like a Honda. <laughs> Let's go. Now in the world of Daihatsu here, there's nothing really much to talk about. But one thing in particular that I like to highlight is that. That is some cute Daihatsu there. That's a Daihatsu Hi-Max. But what's so special about it, it's, uh, it's uh, used as an ice cream van or a coffee van or whatever you want to call it. Uh, everything inside just fits so snugly and perfectly. And you might want to take a look uh, closer there. Now in the world of Toyota, there's nothing really new really. But you have this all new CHR. pretty. Uh, really pretty, uh, it reminds me a little bit of that bumblebee face, just like that one. That's right. <laughs> and you have the all new Toyota Yaris all the way back there, and nothing new really. Moving on. Now, the rest of the booth of the Prestige Image Motor Cars, we have the Model S P100D here in white looking very pristine and the GTC4 Lusso Ferrari GTC4 Lusso in gray very nice much like a Ferrari FF don't you think and we have this uh, random yellow and orange Porsche Boxster and Cayman now in the world of Wuling here the Chinese car company they just revealed this new Confero S and if I'm not wrong the Cortez right over there just right there it looks like kind of like an Audi if I don't mind saying but here it is Wuling, what do you want to know more? Let's check out from here. Now in the world of Chevrolet there, they just re uh, uh, released the new Colorado. Well, you Americans might think, well, uh, that's not a Colorado. Well, we don't have that kind of Colorado. Well, this is the Southeast Asian version of the Colorado. This is a Centennial edition. So you might see a couple of accessories there, here and there. My, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't you think? What more you want to know? <laughs> there isn't much here. Probably the tracks. The tracks is a very nice, cute looking car, an SAV, cute, small family car. Yeah, that's as American as it gets. Now in the world of Evans Motor here, you have McLarens, you have a, Fent a Ventador, and you have those beautiful Range Rover Velar up in the back there. And you have more Aston Martins. I, I don't need to explain, okay? It's, it's self-explanatory at this point. And then in the world of Hyundai here, you have Tuscan, and you have the new Santa Fe over there. And there are the official sponsor for FIFA World Cup Russia 2018. And this particular car over here, it's filled with soccer balls. Hmm, way to move, Hyundai. Moving on. We have here beside me the new BMW X3. New front facial here, and the rear is quite different too. It's much more bulky, much more stronger looking. And the presence is really there, really. I mean, it's uh, uh, size-wise, probably it's a little bit uh, bigger than the uh, last generation. Inside, however, it's a whole completely different story. It's like a raised 5 Series, to be honest. When you're see sitting in the cockpit there, it's, uh, it feels much more plush, it feels much more refined, and it's just a solid new car. And uh, really, I'm really impressed with the BMW X3. Here you go, take a look at it. And yeah, that's IMS 2018. See you next year. Um, that's what we have to say about this year's IMS. Lots of interesting car, but not that wow moment, I guess. But, uh, you know, if I have to pick the winner, it might be BMW because, you know, they just have the most beautiful booth out of all. And uh, especially those BMW X3, big fan of it. And now I'm not being paid to say this, but I just 
I just love the vibe here. So I'll end my day here. I'll end my video here. This is the first impression. Thank you for watching. See you on the next IMS highlight. And we're shining out.